Billy Graham once said something that I thought was very profound, especially in the way and the conviction that he said it. He said, if you want to hear God's voice, we must surrender our minds and our hearts to God. That's easy said, sometimes hard to do, to surrender fully all of our thoughts, our concepts, our opinions, our prejudices, and we surrender those, and then we have a higher idea in fill our minds. In Psalms 48, verse 14, the Bible says, Our God, forever and ever, will guide us until death. Well, I go on even beyond that. What is death? It is simply the soul leaving the body, and we're still alive. We're still with God. God is always present, and God is trying to get God's message through to us. If we seek to discover God's will in our lives, and we should, then we need to meditate on God's word and we need to pray often through a sincere and a heartfelt prayer. We will train ourselves to be watchful, looking for the marvelous varieties of God's answers to our prayers and offers for guidance. Sometimes those signs are right in front of our eyes. God gives us signs that are sometimes obvious. Other times, they're more subtle. Either way, we can discern God's will if we will patiently wait and patiently look with our eyes and have our eyes wide open and our hearts open even wider. If you're struggling to find some solutions in your life to some very tough questions that you might have, strive to be watchful, patient, and faithful. On every step of your journey, trust God with a new and a deeper trust to show you the way, God's way, and then look for the signs that God will certainly provide to guide you. When you do, you're going to receive the divine insight that only God can give, and only God will give. Signs that will help you, that you can rely upon, and will show you the way.